In this video, I'm going to show you how to bridge from Pulse Chain to Base. Right now, I am on Rubik Exchange. It's a cross chain bridge plus a DEX aggregator. They have approximately about 70 blockchain, also 20 bridges and DEXs. And also, they have approximately about 15,000 tokens that they are using to bridge. So, they have a lot of chains out there that you can use to bridge from but today i'm going to show you one of the main way they are using or i'm using to bridge over from pulse chain to base so first thing first we are going to click on launch app and launch app will send you to this page right here where you can go on and make your first transactions and right now what we are going to do you are going to connect your wallet I'm using Rabi. So for example, if I want to connect wallet, I'm going to use normally I'm using MetaMask, also Rabi. Click on it right away. My wallet is connected. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here on select token, the token that I want. So from here on, I'm going to use, click on Pulse Chain. If you click here on 7 Chain, do you have a lot of chains that you can use and go from? And we are just going to use Pulse Chain. Here he is. Click on Pulse Chain. And I'm going to take some pulse chain tokens to bridge over to base and what i'm going to do is i'm going to click here on the tab again click here on the numbers and i'm going to click on base and here i'm going to go back and click on ethereum because base is using ethereum as main so now what i'm going to do i'm going to click max but i'm going to send only to 2 million tokens to that chain and what i'm going to do is i'm going to click preview swap after previewing a swap, you guys are going to see, it will tell you the bridge they're using. They're using change now, and I'm going to swap. By swapping this, what is going to happen is I have to sign my transactions. After signing my transactions, automatically we will wait until the transaction goes through on the base network. So right now you guys can see, you guys can wait. You guys will see wait for completed in source chain, wait for completed in target chain, and success swap so this is all the thing that you need to know for example this is a couple of the price impact that you're receiving and you receive this amount of money on that chain and so on you can go on and do your own stuff so this is how easy it is you can click on done after clicking on done this is how you can go back so how can you check your transaction you can go here to this tab right here on the left hand click here on this tab and you can see all your transactions the language you can change it and also you can click here to stake your tokens from rubik guys i have to say this is one of my favorite bridges out there right now at this moment because i can go from pulse chain to a lot a lot of chains i can go to bitcoin i can go to cosmos i can go to cardano i can go to a lot of these chains l2s l1s out there that i can use to go to and it will be very easy if for example if i want to go to bitcoin what i will do is for example choose bitcoin as token and drop the wallet the bitcoin wallet right here and the token will be transferred to my bitcoin wallet if i want to do for example tron or aptos i just click here and choose aptos and down here i would drop drop my wallet from aptos right in this section right here drop the wallet wallet address drop it here and it's done so if i want to go to a different chain for example i want to go to another chain zk sync era i'm just going to click here from here on what i'm going to do i'm going to choose chain that i'm going to and i can bridge from zk sync era i can go from pulse chain to zk sync era so that's how easy it is and how also we can do that so yes there's different chains and if you want to switch wallet or use a different wallet it's also possible and you can also do that so guys thank you for watching this video and see you guys to the next time Shoosh!